Hey guys, it's Crazy Comic Lady here, and this is a commission I got from Kitty Catcher here on YouTube, and she asked me to do Princess Serenity from Sailor Moon. And for this picture, I was going with um, a very kind of pale pastel look, and I put quite a few uh, pink and purple and blue highlights in the hair. Uh, when the hair kind of got finished, it didn't really show up as well, but I wanted it to sort of reflect the like the pastel background I was going to put in put in with pinks and purples and everything and my puppy is demolishing my rug hey oi Cassie come here come on come here that's better I have this Pocahontas rug and she was uh, shredding it don't shred my Pocahontas rug but yeah so in the original request Kitty Catch actually asked if I could put the um, Sailor Moon <coughs> castle yeah thanks for that um the sailor moon uh, palace castle in in the background but oh for crying out loud not my rug wait no i am back the rug has been saved so kitty catch i asked if i could put in the Mo moon palace um in the background but i kind of felt that was beyond my ability since i'm really not good with scenery and especially buildings and because it's commissioned i really didn't want to like screw it up so she was happy for me just to go with my my pastel background another problem with um if i'd put the moon kingdom in the back it would have i'd have to have colored it with markers and that would have used up so much ink on an a4 commission so yeah i put in my pastel background and i wanted that to kind of reflect on like the skin tone and everything like the colors so yeah, for the for the dress, I actually used the a reference that I found of a cosplayer um, who had like a slightly different dress design to like the like traditional anime dress. But I kind of really liked it because it had like lots of detail on it, a lot more than I ended up putting on. But I thought that was like a really pretty dress with all the extra details. So I also tried to again reflect like the colours that I was going to put in the background with the pinks and the purples, rather than it just being a completely pink dress or a like white dress um so yeah i tried to do something a bit different with this picture and i decided to color the skin last because the skin i find is like the most relaxing part of of a picture to color and when i'm doing these large pictures i get like really tired and and kind of bored by the time i've nearly finished the picture so i end up kind of like rushing and not enjoying like doing like clothes and stuff coloring clothes and backgrounds and hair and everything so i decided i would kind of do it like the reverse and do the skin last that way i could like finish it with like the most enjoyable part and i think that worked a lot better as well like i kind of enjoyed the parts i was doing when i was doing them i also kind of split it up over three days as well so i didn't do it all in one giant chunk and drive myself insane trying to finish it so with the skin as well, I actually I got out some of my old Letraset Pro markers and stuff for it. I haven't actually used most of my Letraset markers for quite a long time. I've kind of I'm more of a, a Copic convert now <laughs> because uh, they tend to blend a lot better. But I do prefer the original Letraset kind of skin tones because they're much more pale. And for this picture, that kind of I needed the more paler skin tones rather than like the pinky yellows that Copic seem to do so I ended up using dus dusky pink almond and I think I also mixed in hmm what did I mix in well I used uh, some Copics as well I did the like e triple zero and and quadruple zero as well for the for the skin and also added in the the pinks and the blues to try and reflect the background a bit um but yeah, I don't know if like the Letraset pens are as good now because they got taken over by Windsor and Newton. So I don't know like if they're like the same kind of ink or not. I haven't tried any because luckily when I when I was doing a lot of pictures and I only used Letraset markers, I tended to buy in bulk because they weren't refillable. So I'd buy like a ton of markers because they used to do deals on the website where if you bought like five pens, you got a free one. So I used to like buy in bulk so that I always had like enough skin tones. So luckily I've still got quite a supply of skin tones. <laughs> Um, but yeah, I have heard like reviews that say the Windsor and Newton ones that like they took over ProMarker and um, they're actually better than the original ProMarkers. I don't know if that's true. I've only heard like a few people say that, so I don't know unless I test them myself, but I can't be bothered to spend money on pens. So yeah. Um, one thing I kind of, uh, I sort of regretted with this picture was when I was coloring the lips, they ended up being too dark I kind of I should have stopped when they were just uh this like light pale pink color you'll see it in a minute on on the footage when I'm when I'm coloring it but I ended up putting slightly too much 
like dark colour in it, which I think kind of drowned out the fact that it was supposed to be a really light, pale, like pastely picture. So I ended up spending a lot of time with my colourless blender, desperately trying to like remove the the colour. But that's that's where I like it, where it was all nice and pink that it just showed up a second ago, and then I put too much in it. But yeah, never mind. Um, I have gone back to watching Sailor Moon Crystal, and I'm doing I'm doing a lot better with it than the first time I tried to watch it last year. But I've I've really enjoyed season two, like compared to season one, I felt was like really, I guess sort of rushed. Like I wasn't enjoying it, and I was finding Sailor Moon really annoying. Um, but yeah, I'm I'm enjoying season two a lot more. It's slightly ironic considering the original Sailor Moon that I tried to watch, the the '90s one. I found that had way too much filler, and then I found Sailor Crystal was just too fast. So it's like there was no happy medium really. But I'd quite like to see the new dub. Uh, that they've done on it, the, like the Viz dub of the original series. Um, but yeah, maybe I'll try and find that online at some point. But yeah, anyway, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this picture of Princess Serenity and enjoyed this video and I'll see you guys all soon. Thanks for watching. Bye!